it's going to be a difficult day for families sending their little ones off to school in Bucks County. Students are going back for the first time since learning their classmate was the youngest victim of a triple shooting over the weekend. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live at Pinsbury School District offices in Falls Township. While officials in that area, Corey, still try to figure out exactly what was going on here. Yeah, Tam, you know, a lot of questions, but overall a, an, an incredibly sad situation as the Pinsbury School District now mourns the loss of a 13 year old who police say was killed by her older 26 year old brother. Want to give you a look there at the recent booking photo there of 26 year old Andre Gordon Jr. He's being held this morning in New Jersey at the Mercer County Correction Center. Investigators say the rampage he went on started with him carjacking someone in Trenton Saturday morning. Police believe he then drove to to Viewpoint Lane in Levittown, Bucks County. That's where police say he shot and killed his stepmother, 52 year old Karen Gordon, and his 13 year old sister, Karen Kara Gordon, who was a student in the Pensbury School District. Police say there were others in the home who hid to survive. Something you don't want anyone to go through, let alone people that are in this close proximity as you are. And the neighbor, a neighbor's view a shot, or the neighbor video shows the man believed to be Gordon in a silver car speeding away. Police say he then made his way to Edgewood Lane in Levittown, where he shot and killed 25 year old Taylor Daniel, the mother of his two daughters. Police say Gordon then carjacked a man in Mooresville and drove back to Trenton, where he barricaded himself inside of a home on Phillips Avenue and held people hostage. Gordon left the house before a perimeter was set up and was eventually found walking nearby on New York Avenue at around 5 p.m. Saturday. So a whole lot unfolded with this right now. Gordon once again being held in the Mercer County Correction Center. He will then be extradited to face serious charges here in Bucks County. Uh, the community continuing to mourn, especially those within the Pensbury School District. But now reporting live here in Falls Township, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. Tam. Corey, thank you.